say, I still get uh, amazed that people don't know much about uh, Aboriginal Australia. I was watching a thing on slavery the other day, and this, uh, the guy on the, the tube, he does lots of them, but he, he started with, you know, all cultures have practiced slavery. No, no, Aboriginal Australia, actually, if we learn a little bit about the Indigenous culture of this country, we will hopefully expand the um, concept of ourselves as a human race. Because if you didn't know about this, you would ma maybe believe what I believed when I was growing up with cartoons on the television, and that's that it was a primitive culture. They're, they're kind of, you get emphasised to that, they'll show cavemen often when I was growing up, and they were brutish. And So I think people, when they see the clubs and they see the animal furs and people living in rock shelters, they assume it's a primitive culture. Captain Cook made that mistake. I want to turn that over for you now. Aboriginal culture is not a primitive culture. It's quite the obvious immediate neighbours because we had very strict marriage laws back then too. The women for the men of that clan, and the, and the clan was kind of like the men's country, in, in a sense, all the, the the people living in that clan were the male relatives of each other. So your brothers and grandfathers and the men. Because the, when the when a husband and wife married, the woman she'd leave her cl her clan country and go live in her husband's clan country. And it's going to be a different country. It's, it's part of the law. You can't marry within your own clan. And even when you're marrying outside your clan, there was systems in place, and there were certain women you were allowed to marry, others you weren't. And that that worked. That served us quite well. Um, and even as a general rule, that's kind of cool because um, because your wives came from the surrounding towns, <coughs> uh, you had relations with those people. And you caught up with them quite regularly. When there would be a big food source on, like the eels all fattened up, ready to go out to the ocean, um, people would come to where the eels are. Parramatta was um, known for this. Uh, people would come to Parramatta when the eels were fattened up and ready. And all of those that, that food source would allow these clans to come and camp with each other for weeks. They'd have sports games and they would have um, a lot of talk on business. Uh, I don't say business, not dollars, of course, but um, proper business um, relations, relationships, and ceremonies and marriages and things like this. Um, they'd also have fights. Outstanding issues would be sort um, would be t uh, sorted out before they sat down and ate with each other. There'd be um, boomerangs throwing, spears, all sorts of things, and then people would sit down and eat with each other. That was Austin, actually. This is um, one of the cool things about the tools. A lot of the tools, you're only know, carrying lots of stuff, so a lot of the tools have many uses. Remember I was telling you about that cool one digging stick? Go back to that. Um, this is like a, the women's woomera, in a sense. The all-purpose stick and the cool one. Now, the reason I'm so impressed with this, our women used to walk around with these, but also have um, a bag full of some other stuff. These central desert women I saw on film the last of the central desert people to make contact with the outside world. Got them on film, it's so cool. There's a, you see this man, they're all naked. So that mm -hmm. brings a lot of divide too. Yeah. Now I'm going to move this way and let these ladies do yeah. You want this move, Joe? Probably because we, we'll um, teach you some dances if you're oh, to learn. <laughs> so move, yeah, that'd be great. Um, so I can just talk uh, while Chris packs up. Um, so. I don't even know if I, we introduced our names. I'm Jo Clancy. Um, this is Becky, Becky and Ness and Ness Mia. Um, it'd be really cool. Can we just go around? Can you tell me your first name? Caitlin. Shirley. Thank you. Iana. Tammy. Ryan. Usman. Will. Lenny. Will. Andromeda. Jamie. Claire. That's Bill. Gary. Hi. Please don't quiz me. Across our forehead, and then underneath us, Nesmi, underneath us, underneath our eyes, Nesmia and I have four dots. That represents that we are both mothers, we are daughters, we are sisters, and we're aunties. Becky isn't an auntie yet, <coughs> so she gets three dots. Um, a lot of our girls might just get one for being so. You know, hopefully, I'll get five one day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But feel free, like, if you do want, like, yeah, we can take you all up if you like. <laughs> That's fine. And it's kind of cool. Um, we dance a lot. So this week, we, we, we dance this. We dance every We dance a lot, like, like most days. And um, so we get to have ochre pretty much every day. And when it, um, when it dries and it comes off, it just leaves your skin really soft. It's really nice. <laughs> 
Yeah, we would do the same for men underneath, just yeah, father, son. Um, but in answer to that too, there are different paint ups. And so what we do, what we do in Wagana is that just females dancing. But it's always separate. It's like, more like. Oh, no, no, there is, no, no, no. there is no, dance groups where there's a mixture. No, no, no. We come together for sure. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So each dance has a specific significance. Yeah, there's always, there's I noticed, always. Is there something that was like you were gathering in one of the? Was that part of it? I kind of saw you. So maybe in the last one. I, it may have been two before or something. Yeah. You know, we there was that. What? The aspect where you were maybe gathering food yes. or maybe that was more waratah. Yeah. Um, so we're picking yeah. the waratahs. Um and with this one, with the flower, maybe was it in that one or no or Yomto maybe when we're doing our um the yeah, last one is like them. um being women of the river. What they're finding on those ones is like we've got here. Little finger missing. I don't know what's going on there. It'd be women of the world, I am I'm guessing. Yeah. It just freaked me out to see that they had handprints on those caves 20, 30,000 years ago. Wow. Like we've got in the rock shelves around wow. here. With the missing, with the missing thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pinky, that's amazing. Yeah. 